Good morning, high power flyers. I am Carl Bauman, Vice President of R&D and Facilities. I'm Kyle Anderson, Manufacturing Engineer. What we're going to do today and show you is the new N2700 RMS Reload. And it's going to be paired to the new RMS 751040 motor. Before we start, we'll kind of point out what the parts are for those who have never seen it and those that have. So essentially you have a forward and aft closure, the nozzle obviously, and your seal disc. The reload will come with three grain spacer O-rings, two forward and aft O-rings, and your seal disc O-ring. It also will come with four grains. And one thing you need to note is that there are three forward and one aft grain. Now the aft grain has a larger core than the others. This one I can stick my thumb completely into. The other it doesn't fit so you can pretty much optically check it or you can check it with your thumb. If you can't get it in there, these are obviously the aft or the correction, the forward, and this is the aft. So this usually works better with two people. I usually dampen a cloth or a paper towel and clean the dust and debris out of the liner. Probably a couple passes will do. You can see that there's some cutting residue. And this kind of uh, adds a little moisture inside the liner as the glue, re uh, glue reacts with moisture. Not really necessary, but it gives it a little assistance. So Kyle is going to essentially coat the grains with the Gorilla Glue. Essentially, he's coated the whole grain. You don't have to really slop it on there, but you want to make sure that the entire grain is covered with the glue. And then we're going to go from the nozzle end forward. You can twist it, but a lot of cases, if they, they fit freely in there, you're not going to have much resistance. And then you place a grain spacer O-ring. You can do this singularly, but it's a lot easier if you have an assistant. Otherwise, you're going to have glue on everything. So you just make sure that the whole surface is coated. You have your grain spacer O-ring in place. Try not to get a lot of glue on the grain face. It's not really going to hurt it as long as you don't occlude the whole front end. Place another grain spacer O-ring. The reason you, why you want to place it against the grain and have the grain pretty close to the end. A lot of times if you drop the uh, grain in too far and put the o-ring in, it can bunch up and you end up with uh, an excessive gap and you have uh, a problem with getting your closures on because your grains are 
not fully seated. And your last grain spacer o-ring. And we're going to replace the aft, which has the larger core. Be mindful to, once you start this process, is to continue. Don't stop, because this glue will start to set up on you. I usually uh, get rid of these gloves and get a new pair for this process. Easily take a little acetone, clean the end of the motor, wipe the excessive glue off the nozzle end. Make sure that setting your depth. Now that you have your depth there, you can uh, turn the motor around. Place your pre-greased O-ring onto the seal disc and press into this side. Make sure that it firmly snaps into place. You can either elect to let this sit and cure overnight, or you can place it into your hardware. Place your forward O-ring. Now that we have placed the liner into the casing and the seal disc is in place, we place the O-ring. Prior to seating the forward closure, we're going to prepare the smoke. You need to liberally coat the forward end of the smoke. Use grease, uh, Vaseline, Super Lube, Dow 111, whatever the grease of choice. But you do want to make sure that you inhibit this front end. This keeps this from igniting on ignition. Place it into the closure and seat it. Lightly grease the threads and place into the, the hardware. And you want to seat this forward in. Once you have the forward end seated, what I like to do is make sure that none of the, uh, the glue is bubbling out. If you put an excessive amount of glue, you're going to see a lot of glue bubbling out. If you just get right amount, you shouldn't see anything. And what I like to do is just lightly grease the end of this liner. Not a lot, just very light. This will stop the nozzle from being bonded to the liner. You want the nozzle to be free so that uh, it equalizes pressure in the motor. The front end is sealed. We're going to have gas leakage around the nozzle which will equalize the pressure both inside and outside of the liner. 
Go ahead and make sure that it seats in the liner. Place the O-ring. And then take your aft closure, make sure that you lightly grease it. And this one I will lightly grease. I usually put a little dollop in about three places. And tighten it. You'll find resistance so your helper will hold you. And you just want to get it as snug as possible. You're going to see a slight gap anywhere from a sixteenth to an eighth of an inch. As long as this thing is tightened, the motor is good to go. We recommend that you build the motor the night before. That way your uh, Gorilla Glue has had a chance to set up, expand, locking the grains within the liner.